Genesis chapter 4 verse 10 very quickly Genesis chapter 4 verse 10 who is expecting tonight huh. before we take this flight scripture says now faith is the substance of the things that have been hoped for so if a believer has no hope for anything faith cannot be commanded faith is the substance of what you hoped for it becomes for you the evidence of the things not seen. But if there was no hope, it is only the expectation of the righteous that will not be cut short. In case you walked into this place without an expectation, you just entered here to just come and see what will happen. I beg you, take one minute and develop an expectation quickly. The Bible says they came before him and their faces were enlightened expectations let's read together and Akazo is projected one to go and he said what hast thou done the voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground this is God speaking to Cain now this is what Cain has done in the canopy of secrecy when nobody saw him where he believes that no account is on ground for these acts that has happened and now spirits came to assess what has been done and from the perspective of spirits they said their ears can hear blood crying and that the petition of that blood it is crying for vengeance he says the blood of thy brother cried unto me from the ground and this will be the first time that human blood has been spilled in the land of the new design. So, aside all the multifaceted dimensions of different creatures that emit sound waves as gestures of worship to Adonai. So if you see the wind hit the face of the leaves and the tree sway itself it's only us mortals that don't hear the sound of worship because psalms said everything that has breath eh? praise the lord the movement of trees in fact jesus pushed it to an extent that he said if we keep quiet stones will open their mouth and start worshiping every design everything is emitting a sound wave it is science that helps you realize that there is a sound around every every creature and we found out we discovered that blood blood has an ability to raise petitions so when Cain killed Abel thinking he has destroyed the man unknown to him what he has done is that the blood of Abel has gone into the court sessions of heaven and began to make appeal against this person. You see, today the things I share 
it is going to be for us the basis of very strong deliverance tonight the reason behind this is there are a lot of afflictions a lot of challenges a lot of predicaments that are tied around the spiritual realities of a man's life for instance In the old covenant the idea of sacrifice is the business of blood when a man sins his penance for his sin and what he brings as a retribution for his sin is blood whether it's the blood of dove or the blood of bull or the blood of lambs is blood and before now if you remember the narrative of Genesis chapter 6, scripture made it clear that the birth of these creatures called giants, the Nephilims, increased wickedness in the earth. And the wickedness in the earth became so much that it displeased the Lord that he made man. So, what it means is as incense of prayer is rising from the earth, as the immortals are supposed to be hearing petitions, so much wickedness has happened that blood blood began to bring their own petitions too so all the people who died by boko haram the unfortunate victims of bandits everybody who fell from one arm of wickedness or another the blood is crying for vengeance and such a cry for vengeance is not a sweet smelling sever to the heavens so god came to repair something that was wrong because for many people it's not only prayer that is the voice that you are uttering while you are saying in the name of jesus i am blessed there are altars there are covenants strengthened by the shedding of blood and some of this blood were shed unknowingly in the days of ignorance do I go ahead to share about people who sit and deceive to carelessly and callously think it's my body the baby is being formed you do not know that the first realm of a child before he becomes flesh he's already a spirit and Jeremiah 1 5 is continuing to tell us as I will always read it out that before you were formed I knew you there was a person with a predefined purpose that wanted to enter time and because there was some compromise you are not ready to get married and the thing happened by mistake so you went and flushed it you see that abortion that you did it's only with humans that you hit something in the realm that matters the blood has a voice and it can speak blood is like currency in the realm of the spirit blood can buy blood is like a lawyer in the realm of the spirit blood can speak blood can take you to court ha! blood in the realm of the spirit is like a security man blood can defend you for many of us we do not understand the mystery of the blood and that's what i share with us briefly tonight before we engage the communion the blood and i will not only dwell upon the sacrifice of the christ it will be good we assess and we realize exactly what blood we speak about let's begin our journey very quickly leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. scripture began to speak in the book of leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 he says the life of the flesh is in the blood if you can hear me say amen, amen. let's read together i want you to see something very quickly one two go for the life of the flesh is in the blood and i have given it to you upon what to make what for what listen listen the life of the flesh is inside the blood and god says i give you blood as a technology blood should respond to altar he says i gave it to you upon what at the altar number one number two he says to make atonement for your soul he went further to say for it is the blood that maketh 
atonement for what the soul have you read the scripture that says the soul that sinneth it shall die so death is the allotment for any soul that sins and any souls that have, have fallen short of the judgment standard of god and doesn't want to die he must bring blood as a replacement i show you the trick how old witches live long and young children die every time the cycle of death comes for them again they present a sacrifice on the altars of atonement and it is easy for old mama to get up from the sick bed again and for innocent elizabeth to die in her teens you are the one saying she died after a brief illness it was altar and atonement mystery that was happening because every time there is a need for these balances to happen there will be a demand for blood in the altar and every family represented here every family represented here has a history with one altar or another the problem with blood is that time does not tell blood to keep quiet if blood was shed 300 years ago the statement of that blood is still loud so whether you have packed from the village and five generations have come the noise of the, the blood is speaking from a realm that time is not real so even when jesus manifested they they were still making reference to the blood of abel so they said the blood of jesus that speaks better things than the blood of abel abel is still speaking but they heard another blood whose petition is not trying to make man guilty this one he is begging the father on our behalf and registering by the way atonement is done by blood so anything is purged by the blood we are about to enter september we're about to enter that mba moon cycle again and there'll be many nefarious prophecies people have all kinds of beliefs and orientations they believe is a time of massive exit of people from the realm of the living to balance the scale of the immortals and they believe there will be all kinds of, of tragedies here and there and true to such belief there are the mortality rate around those time is actually more and many people many people actually continue to hope that they will live so people who are on the sick bed diagnosed with debilitating diseases diagnosed with incurable illnesses if you ask the person the person will just say the disease of the egyptian shall not come near me you are saying it but the disease is already in your body if you can hear me say amen today amen. what about people who are shouting i shall not die but live to declare the works of the lord and the protocol of death has gained expression already you are seeing strength leaving you minute by minute today it is an immortal tool that we hope to explore because a man that walk and missed he does not know how to predict results the man will just be doing guesswork and in the spirit realm you don't have time for guesswork because before you get it right the enemy must have struck the ability to be accurate is what this teaching brings for us tonight the ability to know what to invoke when you see a particular enemy coming the ability to know what to chant in the spirit when you sense the motions of the alien army when your children are waking you up in the middle of the night and saying something is pursuing me i, I saw something stab me i died what 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 weapon would you invoke in such a day when you close your eyes and sleep and you see people gather in front of your house and they hang your picture in front of the house people are crying what about those who have seen themselves in coffin why is the spirit of death trying to pre-inform you of his arrival and every time these spirits are trying to gain expression every spirit has something he submits to <sighs> mighty on your throne <sighs> so you reign, you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne
soul like a rain. Like a rain. Death will manifest for many families very soon. Let me share something with us very quickly. The spirit of death is a principal spirit. And one of the characteristics of principal spirits is that they have a will of their own. In the fellowship of principalities, Satan is not their lord. The only reason why they have to cooperate with Satan is because their enemy is Satan's enemy. So they join hands together to walk. <sighs> there are other guys that fell down with Satan that were not under Satan. And the nature of their assignment proves that they have statue too. It was never about seniority. It was a corporate hatred for the same enemy. So they have to partner together. If death is under Satan, death should not kill a witch. If death is under Satan, the wicked should not die. But if a herbalist tries to conjure a mystery against a son of light, and by mistake, the son of light invokes the right tool, that spirit comes and takes the person who called it in the first place. Have you read the scripture that says, He that digget a pit will fall into it? What pit do you think we speak about? The grave. He who summons the spirits of Hades. The Bible says he will fall into it by himself. Because that spirit is not really under obeisance to Satan. It is the corporate hatred for God that they both have. So my enemy becomes your enemy. So me and you have to pretend like we are friends momentarily. Until this enemy is not in the way, then we focus that we are not even together in the first place. There is a contention in the kingdom of darkness. Higher demons are bullying, bullying smaller demons. <laughs> there is hatred in that kingdom. So if you peep into the realms of darkness, it's a realm that is clouded with fear. So nobody has confidence. So the, uh, the protection a herbalist can give you, in case you are in challenge or just complain, then you go. What he gives you as a protection is that he opens the portal of your life open to other bigger and more nefarious spirits so those spirits comes and bully the smaller spirits that were tormenting you before now and so momentarily by the tormenting of those previous spirits that have left you will think you are healed you will think you have but the worst state of that man eh? the end state is worse than the beginning because the new guys that entered when they start tormenting you too you will not know what to invoke again to to chase these ones out this is why there is no solution in darkness because by every time you seek solution what you do is that send more send more wickedness to suppress this lesser wickedness the reason why the little guys will leave is because they too they fear who came and if darkness is fearing who came why are you not scared of it you're opening yourself up they say wake up in the night by by 2 a.m jump three times rub this powder all is a gate a gate they are trying to open for somebody else that if he enters the previous occupant will run and when they run you will think you are healed until the guy who entered manifest his own foot then you will realize that you would have stayed with what you have before now Cannot sleep, man of God. What happened? For close close to 15 years, 15 years, a man I cannot close at, at night. He pays people, he pays people to hang around him in the night and just be talking. Some people are paid for that job. If his if his eye ever close, the covenant that binds the code that sponsors his substance is that the day this eye close to sleep, he will not wake up in the land of the living again. You you call it wealth. You are celebrating the the Homer Jeep, the Lexus, the G wagon, and this is the price somebody is paying. His eye need to be open in the midnight still, so he needs to be taking some drugs that will keep him perpetually awake. Is that a life you want to live? so they gave you something but what they took is bigger than what they gave you now they gave you money but there is no 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 ability to enjoy wealth what is wealth without rest 
not far from your vicinity here, Sabo. A story was told me of a man whose coven had a peculiar instruction that you will never build a house of your own. And the wealth was too much. So, he didn't know that you cannot cheat spirits. He now gave money to one of his friends and said, build it in your name. It's only humans that you, you deceive with those things because it's only humans that are checking the name. In the, in the curriculum of spirits, the truth is bare. And they built, the spirits left the house to grow, to grow until the day they finished the last paint as they were rubbing it, he collapsed and died. The covenant that binds. And when they finished giving this agreement, the agreement was signed by blood. That is what you call blood money. Blood money was never actually about money turning to blood or blood rather turning to money. It was a covenant that brings money that is strengthened by blood. All spirits know that once blood is involved, it's a covenant. You know what sex is? Every virgin, every virgin, hear me, I beg you by God. There is a matrix God put in you that the first penetration that will happen in your life, there will be a shedding of blood. The signal, I'm trying to tell you what blood is to spirits. That blood that has, that has been shed on account of these two meeting together, that blood is the covenant of your marriage. That's, that is the marriage. And that blood makes that marriage stronger than any other church or court wedding you can have. It was a covenant formed upon an altar and blood created atonement. Somebody saying Jesus. Okay, you did not know what was at stake. <laughs> I have good news for those who are laughing at the people. In the days of ignorance, God will overlook. And you know what? Because of the boldness of that lady to say hallelujah, we will go further about this matter. So Satan can walk around the clock to make sure he package a candidate of very questionable descent and bring him to your life in a season of unpreparedness and make that something will lead to another there was one music that was playing the the light was looking bluish so many factors played out and you fell and as the act happened now you are about to feel sorry and feel battered that blood that was shed in that premise that blood becomes a voice that always contradict any prayer you pray and say lord when will i marry the blood says she is married i'm talking about covenants of blood so i need you to know why many realities are the way they are and i also need you to know the advantages you have in jesus don't worry if you are angry already with me thinking what kind of service of guilt is this the end is no guilt Lord, I want a man who can love me, who will call me the blood, say, shut up, you have a man. <laughs> Father, rakatakata, and the blood just stay like, you know, the blood is a person. The blood just stay like, he's looking at you. When you are through, you say, you don't finish. <laughs> that guy in Namso Street is your husband. <laughs> you know the unfortunate thing? You, you, you don't want to marry that guy in Namso Street. <laughs> Matters of the blood. So there will be many mistakes we are going to make. Many times we will fall short of the expectations of God. You will do many things that are a product of ignorance. And if Jesus' blood was not shed, we were doomed. Because anything that has blood on it has a signature on it. Anything with blood on it, words cannot change it. It will take blood to cancel what that blood is saying. So this is why God had to look for somebody whose life history has no blemish. <sighs> so
so that when that blood is saying you keep quiet another blood will be saying let us speak so that when that blood is saying you shall die another blood is saying i have died on in her place and can i share something with you for yourself for your family for your loved ones and the children that the lord will give to you anytime you sense the activity of death invoke the blood quickly can somebody shout the blood of jesus, blood of jesus. i know you are always calling the name but there are battles that only the blood can fight anytime death rise as a principality you seize the finger of death quickly plead the blood the blood is a symbol of death and in hebrews chapter 12 it is appointed unto men once to die you have died so if death comes to you if he sees the blood the blood says death has already visited and you cannot visit twice you know what you do when you're on the sick bed the blood the sickness is a procedure of death that is trying to cut up, catch up with a the man there are measures of death already happening now the man is saying no more appetite weakness everywhere i don't i can't i can't move my limbs he was not like that before now death is gaining expression what do you plead in such a case saints of god i plead the blood i plead the blood wake up in the night and a spirit of fear is everywhere something just starts echoing to you are you sure you will see the next day you will die this night don't 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 anything you want to say against that thing it will be worried look for the tool that spirits call mighty the only thing that the spirit of death cannot challenge is the blood and can i share something with you when they were fighting the great war in the celestial realm in revelation chapter 12 verse 11 he says they overcame him by the blood of the lamb he who satan and all the principalities that fell with him and part of those who were fighting with satan in his camp was the spirit of death and when it is time to overcome all the strength of this kingdom of rebellion they say they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and what the words of their testimony see for the sake of time i will not dwell on the words of our testimony maybe i'll touch it small but my emphasis is the blood the blood that makes even high-ranking angels to turn their back this is the blood that is the lawyer for anybody who has a court session i know you are you are trying to if guilt ever comes to you plead the blood the blood of jesus i'm feeling pain pain around somewhere in my body my organ is failing the blood of jesus suddenly organ is forced to recuperate again because death has been given a card that you have visited here before don't come back again and if a man has died in Jesus why do men die again I'll tell you why the only reason why God's people perish now is not wickedness it's not Satan it's not even the powers of the elements of darkness it is lack of knowledge because knowledge spiritually is like a cloak that you wear every spirit know what you know by your appearance in the spirit realm so if they see a man that is guarded with the revelatory power of the blood there is something on your garment spiritually that shows that you know something about death so death looks out at you and moves the man who is without knowledge about that thing in the day of evil he'll be doing guesswork in the name of jesus lord you say in your word holy ghost fire holy ghost fire is for consecration for god's sake I know you think because fire is hot physically that fire is the is the most wicked thing <laughs> fire is not a is, is not a tool the idea for fire every time you see the representation of fire as touching the covenants of god it is to consecrate men for service so cloven tongues of fire is appearing on the head of righteous men not evil men consecration he will baptize men with the Holy Ghost and with fire, consecration. 
in the day of wickedness nigerian film and nollywood have civilized you then you shout holy ghost and you think the demon will respond fire and nothing <laughs> we have weighty weapons mighty weapons that has brought down giants the blood of jesus some of you will lay hands on the sick and all you are going to say is the blood of jesus as as as, as simple as it is you have found the password the blood of jesus this person is dying. Now. What do we do? Give her the phone. And you know what you invoke? The blood of Jesus. You don't invoke it from a point of fear. You know that death happened for this blood to be secured. There was somebody that had to die so that I can have this blood. So if you call that blood, death knows that he did something unfair many thousands of years ago. He took somebody that he was not supposed to take. Remember it is the wages of sin that is supposed to be dead why is a man that has no sin why did he die god planned that so that if the one without sin has died the ones with sin will be exempted because one day will come when the you see this is the only way he rose from the underworld when they check the pages of the account of the life of men and they check to look for what point you know the spirits are wicked they are looking for things to start mocking him with and when they checked they didn't see any compromise throughout his history of 33 years that's when satan knew that kai we made a mistake the bible says if they knew they would not have crucified the king of glory the, the, the point where they realized it it was too late he was already in the underworld and he was gisting with their noah by then and, and noah was asking him question are you really sure that we're going to leave this place he said just watch me watch what i will do very soon because the underworld is only reserved for those who have been bound by sin and sin is the doorway to hell so there was an apology written from the realms interacting and they sent an apology to zion and said there is a misstop somewhere we are very sorry somebody is here that is not supposed to be here <laughs> but you see the reason why he spent three days in the underworld was because he was civilizing all the patriarchs that died before him he was showing them the revelatory power that will help them translate with him when he is resurrecting too so scripture says and when he resurrected graves were cracked open and men saw their long dead relatives walking the streets of jerusalem he did not rise alone they could not rise all alone jesus did not give them power he gave them light awake thou that sleepest arise from the dead and christ shall give thee light it is that kind of light god did not wait until you die and he's giving you now and so, O oh death, where is thy sting? O oh grave, where is thy power? Do you know the greatest threat of Satan is I will kill you? There is nothing more than that in this world. I will kill you. What then happens when you have overcome that threat? When you have realized that my life cannot be taken, I am the one to lay it down. I will live till I'm tired and I will call my children and bless everybody. Then by myself, I will tell the Lord, into thy hands, I commit my spirits. Like Abraham, we are, we, are, we are going to call our children and bless them. Like Jacob, we will speak over them the things that will befall them and we will sleep in peace. None of us will be crossing a road and a car will hit you by mistake. You cannot die unplanned. It's not possible. Even if that car hits you into some assault. You know why? See, there are there are revelations that fortify men you are in the car and the car is somersaulting it somersault 13 times every other person died and you came out without a scratch who is this that comment out of the wilderness like a pillar of smoke you are dead by revelations it is these things that will become your garment in the evil day when war will break upon a nation for such a time as in our nation now where death clicks upon anybody it looks upon because the reckless riders of wickedness have multiplied their numbers now you will find out you need revelations to guard yourself this is not about my uh, geo picture in front of your car it is the blood that is your safety <laughs> hey i have seen many cars in accident with geo picture if you like wear one chin that has a picture in your chest again eh? 
as, as close as that picture is to your chest when death comes to look upon you that picture is not a security because even even the owner of that picture will account <laughs> do war with real tools this is why spirit laugh at some of us they see you sweating but you are sweating in ignorance and you are just saying hey, nobody will die if i be a man of god who told you is about you die if i be a man of god if death answers you you will fall it's a principal spirit you see unless i'm not called i am a wall which wall jesus is the wall you take the blood to war and in the days where your strength fail you quickly hide inside the blood I feel a need to introduce another concept. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. That the righteous will not have time to walk, they will run into it. The, the reason for running is to teach us how to use the name. The name is for emergency purposes. In those days where you don't have the opportunity to fast for three days, where there's no, no opportunity to go and prepare before you come and face the enemy. So while you are coming as Emmanuel, Emmanuel with all of his helplessness, in the name of Jesus means I leave Emmanuel and I entered into the body of Jesus. For that case, I become Jesus. That case, I allow you to be Jesus forever, but in that name, in that name, suddenly witches came to torment me through the night and I shouted in the name of Jesus. Then they realized that they are on top of Jesus. An apology starts immediately. In the name of Jesus. He says the righteous run it into it. You will not have time to walk. So the name is an emergency tool. It's an emergency tool. Do you know why in the middle of serious tension you hear people shouting jesus 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 ah, it is their spirit that was invoking emergencies i knew those of us who were christians in a bus one day the boss wanted to do your turn then the staring now lose <laughs> lose the this thing then instead of the youth turn we're now heading for that media separator so i had over like 17 jesus inside the, the bus in my mind i said wow you know what happened there guys if you can hear me say amen. amen have you ever seen a scene where a plane wants to crash and people are putting on parachute quickly eh? that jesus jesus you are hearing is different people that are changing to jesus 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 jesus, jesus. So the only person that is exposed is the person who, who forgot to call jesus quick and I knew that even, the, even though that car hit something, anybody who calls that name in Revelation, so that is why he says, the righteous, the righteous, not just anybody, the righteous can run into him. And inside that name is safety. <laughs> Lastly, before we go, the same way, a young child can just be minding his business and somebody can bring a small material of contact and for me i define that method as a contact point either biscuits or they give you one meat you eat it on the basis of what you have accepted a coven that should have no business to have the ability to summon your spirit they will hit a gong for announcement and your spirit will appear among those who should come and do meeting. And Hollywood have bastardized our knowledge and told us, you know, we, we think in the meetings of witches, they have glass cups where they share blood and, and pass it around on a tray. <laughs> they have ushers among them that... that, that, that there are people at the back seat saying, he never reached me, you know, and all that. <laughs> if you know the realm where wickedness is concocted from, in that realm, hmm, the witch can be lying down on the bed with the, with the husband is seeing his wife. But she's in meeting already. Okay, so that I'll be balanced because you guys think I'm attacking ladies now. The wizard... <laughs> And be sleeping on the bed and his wife would think her husband is with her but 
he is already in meeting like the, the meeting is holding somewhere there are witches under the heated interaction of confession they said that their transport tool is granite back they are laughing but he said that this granite she, she flies with with good good granite back There's a witch that makes sure that her father's car was, was spoilt based on the activity of spiritual technicians. And so the car was packed. All she was trying to do was secure a meeting, a meeting space inside the fuel, uh, fuel chamber, fuel tank of the car. That's, that's the headquarter of meeting. So in the heated interaction of deliverance, she said, Kai. Well, she's the one that spoiled the car and because they want to be meeting inside the fuel tank. You know, you, you, you like, you like every, anything your eye cannot see, anything you cannot touch, you cannot handle, you don't believe it. Now you are passing a car and, and, and 500 people are inside one small fuel tank. <laughs> that night that you close your door, you carry Sakata, you push the Sakata like this, you, you carry this one, you did. The people who can do meeting inside fuel tank, they will pass through the small hole that is between Hi, Jesus. You think you are safe. <laughs> Safety is not by all, all, all those things. Somebody after doing that, he now, he now stand up again and say, he off the light so that uh, the, <laughs> you are offing light. You think which is need light to see? Mind you, the powers that rule the night, they are spirits. A man did all this thing and he forgot to pray and then he slept. You didn't close the real door spiritually. You say, Kai, Abba, Kaya. Your door spiritually is open. Anything can come and do what he wants. And when they finish, people have closed the door, closed everything. They died inside that room with the door closed. So neighbors had to break the door to remove their dead bodies. Because the things that entered didn't need doors. Let me share something with you so that we pray and go. Tonight is an initiation service. And we are being initiated into the Zoe life. Before initiation happens, people must eat something. Or you will drink something. And today, you will eat something. <laughs> ah, there are, there are kids in our midst, so the things I'm saying is scary for them. Don't worry. Yeah. There's no initiation, huh? When you eat the communion, this is what you That death of Jesus you have been talking about, talking about that spirits claim that you know. Inside the communion, inside the communion, the communion makes you one with anything you commune with. So inside the communion, the blood of Jesus is substituted for your own blood. And inside the communion, the body of Jesus that has been broken, your own body anything faulty in your body they will carry everything and say it is for the sake of this one that was broken this is why everything in your body is supposed to be on this your blood and i i shared with us in leviticus right chapter 17 verse 11 he says the life of the flesh is in the blood can you bow your heart one minute and ask the lord Lord, give me encounters. Change my story tonight. You know why all the causes that has haunted your bloodline based on the conversations of blood, the different narratives of blood that are crying, why they will break? The causes can break because cost is he that hung on a tree. There is somebody's body that was kept on a tree. Please, I beg you, pray, pray. Want to plead the blood now you want to lay hands on yourself and say the blood of jesus hey sh lay hands on that head lay hands on your on, on your heart 
put your hands on that head and speak to that mind, that mind that is telling you those negative things, telling you that you will not live long. Somebody will want to plead the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Kai, 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 Kai. It is on this day that men go to war because the tools of warfare have been made available. The valleys where your fathers fell, suddenly the weapons that brings giant down has been given to your hands. Now you know why you cannot die. You know why sickness cannot prosper in your body. Somiaka, Rara Papanto Kobe. 
deity and now I am a sacrifice the life that I live is not my own I've been offered to a deity and now I am a sacrifice the life that I live is not my own You are praying. Make sure you are praying. 